Good morning, my friends. Happy Tuesday. He is risen. He is risen indeed. I was reading an essay by theologian N.T. Wright just the other day, and in it he wrote that he wished that the 40 days after Easter could be celebrated as much as the 40 days prior to Easter. Uh, we know that during the days leading up to Easter, uh, known as Lent, we often give up things and we prepare our hearts, minds, and souls for the resurrection. Once Easter Sunday comes and goes, we are often happy that we can go back to enjoying what we gave up for Lent, whatever that may be. But then once that has passed, we often go back to our regular lives. And um, Bishop Wright was saying that, wouldn't it be great if we can continue to celebrate the fact that he is risen and he has come again to save us? Um, so what does that mean? What does it mean for us to continue to celebrate after Easter? Uh, as we know, this Easter, this resurrection for ourselves as believers is unlike any other Easter any of us have ever experienced. Um, this time last year, the thought of a vaccination was so, so, so far off. I should say the hope of a vaccination was so far off. Now, I read in the news today that uh, 16 year olds can get vaccinated. Isn't that a miracle? So we have come almost to the end of this dark tunnel. We just have a little bit more to go. Continue to wear your mask. But we have come almost to the end. That alone is cause for celebration because he, Holy Spirit, has made this possible for us. He has worked with the scientists and the bio biologists to create a vaccine for us to return to life as normal. But once we return to life as normal, what will that mean for us? I hope it means that we continue to celebrate the fact that we have been given a second opportunity to start anew. We had an opportunity at the beginning of the year, right after Christmas, the birth of Jesus. We consider that often um, a time to make New Year's resolutions or new intentions. We choose our one word and we start off with heavy hopes and aspirations to continue down the path of that resolution. So now, after Easter, we're given yet another opportunity to start anew and rise again. And boy, howdy, have we been given an opportunity this year to rise. So as we read in the 21st chapter of John, J Jesus has given Peter an opportunity to rise again. We know that Peter denied Christ three times, but yet after the resurrection, Jesus gave Peter an opportunity to be reinstated. And when that opportunity came, he asked Peter to take care of his lambs and feed his sheep. So folks, we now have an opportunity to rise and to take care of the lambs and feed the sheep. We can take care of the lambs and feed the sheep by our actions, by our actions of kindness, of love, of grace, of patience. The lambs and the sheep are all around us. As Meryl said on Sunday, Jesus comes to us through a variety of different ways and a variety of different circumstances and a variety of different people. He's coming to us all the time. We just have to be paying attention to make sure we don't miss it. Like Mary, we don't confuse Jesus for the gardener. So let's continue to rise. Let's continue to celebrate for 40 days beyond Easter. I say we continue to celebrate for the rest of our lives. He is risen. He is here. He is among us. We just have to pay attention. And may we continue to provide for his sheep and his lambs. I will be missing you next week. Um, the plan is for me to move back to Orlando next week. So I will be taking one week off to take care of that. But I will look forward to seeing you the week after. And so I hope you have a most splendid week. It's a beautiful string of days ahead of us. I hope you enjoy it. Know how much you are loved. And I will look forward to seeing you soon. Blessings.